Hi everyone, this is the Preacher of Spice, and uh, I decided to do another video tonight, and I'm going to, it's called uh, Cooking with the Preacher. So we're making my supper tonight, and wasn't quite sure what I wanted to do. So I had a sweet potato in the house, so I'm going to make uh, some sweet potato fries. I've got them already kind of cut up here. I don't want to make this too laborsome. So if you get yourself a sweet potato, cut them into fries. And so what I'm going to do is I've got an air fryer oven here. I'm going to put, put them in. And uh, I've got my sidekick, Skip, here. He's, uh, why don't you come on over here, Skip? Come over here. Here, Skip. So he gets excited about his fries. Come on over here. Here, over here. Here, here sit down. He gets, he gets excited about sweet potatoes. So he likes the sweet potatoes when I cook with them. So he's got to have his little taste too. So tonight I want to do something a little bit different. Um, I don't do a whole lot of measuring. So I want to crisp them up a little bit. So I got myself a little bit of cornstarch. And so I'm going to put some of that in here. Uh, cornstarch. Ooh. Well, oh, that's all right. So, you know, I just dump it in a bowl. So I'm thinking about seasoning. Well, I was going to add some garlic powder. Don't have garlic powder. So... I'll go to the next best thing. So I've got the uh, shebang sauce, some shebang spice. And so that's from uh, uh, Miller uh, Seasoning, shebang. So I'm going to just uh, take my bowl, cornstarch, and I'm just going to, I'm going to give it a good, a good amount in here. So that should do it, I think. I like my measurements. That's how I do it. So. Then I do want a little bit of heat, so I wanted, I was hoping I had a shebang spicy here, but I don't. Um, got it in Belgium, so I found this in the cupboard. I haven't had this in a while. This is from Mike's Ghost Pepper Powder, extremely hot, and so I got a little bit of that left. It is Ghost Pepper, Mike's Ghost Pepper seasoning. So anyhow, I'm gonna. I'm going to just see if you can see this. I'm just going to give myself a little bit of good a good seasoning in here. Ooh, so that's quite a bit in there. Close that up. So I want some, want some flavor. So what I'm going to do here quickly is just kind of mix all that in with the cornstarch. And, yeah, we want the spices to kind of mix and blend. Then what we're going to do is take my sweet potatoes, take my bowl of stuff, and, oh, well, Skip's got another one. That's all right. So I'm going to just kind of give them a good mix in here. Get them coated up. And, so, oh, yeah, that's looking good. Nice and coated. So, I got almost too much cornstarch in here. So, what I'm going to do, since I got too much cornstarch, I'm just going to take these out. I mean, they are coated nicely. I don't want to get off a of camera really, but uh, so here. That. So I'm going to do a step over here. I'm just going to give it a good dump into the sink quick. And I'm going to do is put my, put them back in the bowl. And so since we're air frying, we are, I am going to add a little bit of oil. It just keeps things from uh, sticking in the air fryer and help the coating there. And it'll, it'll help crisp them up. I don't have to do a whole lot of oil. And so again, just kind of mix them up. Get them all coated up nice here. There we go. And then as they air fry, they'll get a nice crispy coating on them, I hope. And so I'll grab my basket here. Yep. So I've got my basket, so I'm going to grab my French fries here. 
and spread them out though a little bit so the air can get between them. Yeah. Oop. Yep, you're not getting any of these. These are these will give you a look for a little spicy I think for you, Skip. And let's see here. Spicy sweet potatoes, ghost pepper. How's that? Ghost pepper, sweet potatoes. How's that? And then what I'm going to do is make a, <clears throat> I want some spicy ketchup to dip them in a little bit. And so there's my sweet potatoes coated. And so I'm going to put them in my air fryer. I have an air fryer oven over here. Maybe I can get it, get you turned a little bit. It's kind of like right here. See, there you go. <coughs> Pull this thing out. We'll throw the basket in right about in the middle. Close this up. Then I'm going to hit air fry. So I got it for 15 minutes, and it's set at. Uh, I'm going to do. I'm going to do like 375. Ah, let's do 400. 400, 15 minutes, and we're going to hit on and go so that should circulate nicely uh, get me some uh, nice crisp um, sweet potatoes and uh, then I'll work on the rest of my meal I've got uh, some sausage I think I'm going to make tonight uh, that's just going to get popped in the oven there but the sweet potatoes spicy sweet potatoes and uh, also uh, I'll get out the rest uh, my ingredients for ketchup I'm going to add some spice, maybe some spang to that, and uh, a little bit of uh, either horseradish or maybe I'll just uh, add some more ghost pepper uh, uh, seasoning to it. All right, I'll be back in a few minutes. All right, as we uh, continue, my uh, fries are cooking right now. So I want to make a, a ketchup dip for my uh, sweet potato fries. So I'm going to grab some ketchup and says roughly, put in roughly about a, a cup. I don't need a cup really. So, but a cup of ketchup. And they're going to do some Worcestershire sauce. And, you know, I just use whatever. Uh, whatever I've got in the store, generally I go cheaper. So I'm going to put in some of that, about a tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce, it says. And I need, uh, Spoon will work. So we've got the Worcestershire ketchup. And you can use uh, horseradish in it. And I didn't grab my horseradish. Let me, uh, I think I've got some in the fridge here. One second. Horseradish. Got a tablespoon of horseradish. Yeah. Got my knife here. Fresh brown horseradish. So, a tablespoon of horseradish. Mix that all up in there. Good to dip in my. It says cayenne pepper. We could do cayenne pepper. We could do uh, garlic salt. I don't have uh, the garlic salt in here. It also says add a little bit of brown sugar. Um, brown sugar, just a tad. I'm not going to put much in. I got to watch my sugars. So I'll add just a little bit. I'm going to add a spice to it, which I've had in the cupboard for a while. And uh, it's called a hot honey. Hot honey chipotle rub. It's uh, called bee sting. So it's got a little bit of sweetness to it. So I'm going to do 
the chipotle seasoning in there so you know I just do you know I don't know that looks like it could be a good amount I guess I know it's it is spicy it does have a pretty good bite to it and we'll just add a little bit more there we go okay. and so we got our half cup of ketchup, our uh, Worcestershire, a uh, tablespoon of horseradish. I just did a little bit of brown sugar, less than a teaspoon, maybe an eighth of a teaspoon, just a little bit. No cayenne. I can use garlic, uh, garlic uh, uh, powder in here. I don't have any, so I'll use the bee sting instead. So that's it. So there's my, uh, there's my sauce, spicy sauce. We'll see once how that turns out. Yeah, let's try it. Ooh, yeah. That is tasty. Ooh. A little bit of a kick to it. So, it should be good with my spicy fries. So, I'm going to go check on them in a little bit. And uh, as soon as we get them done, I will uh, take them out. Alright, the uh, french fries are now done, and uh, let me just grab them over here real quick. Just got them all taken out. So, nice and brown, crisp, I don't know how crispy they are, but the potatoes uh, sometimes have a tendency to not get super crispy, but they are done. So, let me set this over here. Put that out of the way. Got my little sidekick. So, again, here we go. Got my sweet potatoes right here. Oop, I'm losing them. So, anyhow, here's my sweet potatoes. And so, I'm going to just add one more thing to it. I got some Parmesan cheese. So, as long as they're hot, warm yet. Give these a little, little dose of Parmesan. There we go. I got lots of flavoring going on, don't I? So, anyhow, here we go. Got my French fry. Ooh, it smells good. They're hot. So, I hope I'm not going to burn myself, but. Mmm. Wow. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> that heat just kicked in. Wow. Yes. Oh, those are good. Got a good kick to them. And it just tastes like good. Mm. Taste the shebang. A little bit crispy. A little crunch. Taste the Parmesan. Mm, wow, these are good. So, so dip a little here. Oh, oh. So if you like my video here, like my recipe, uh, give me a thumbs up, and I appreciate it if you'd subscribe to my videos. Preacher of Spice, and uh, I'm going to try and do a little few more cooking cooking uh, uh, videos, so I like spice, but I also like flavor, so he's got a good little bite to it, tongue is tingling right now, just for a few of them, uh, got some ghost pepper in here, some bang, oh, thumbs up, these are really tasty, so, alright, so I hope you enjoyed this video, Cooking with the Preacher of Spice, and uh, so wishing you all a blessed evening, and uh, again, if you like my video, give me a thumbs up, and uh, subscribe, I'd appreciate it very much, so have a blessed evening.